Okay, welcome my ICBM uh, fans. My name is Doug Guardsman. I'm the co-dev of ICBM Sentries. And uh, this is going to be really an extension of my last video, which I was testing the sentry guns on pretty much the same map, except I, after a uh, accidental wipeout of part of this area, after I did regen it, uh, though you still see some of this area over here is still messed up. Uh, I rebuilt it. I added two sentries here. Since most people are going to have, like, Probably a dozen of these. Maybe, maybe they'll just have one. It doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to continue to t test these, and I'm going to use uh, an automated launcher, which is uh, the reason you're seeing these conveyor belts over here. Is I built this to do a test of an automated cruise launcher system. I was kind of bored and didn't feel like doing it on my server, so I did it on my dev environment. After all, I do need a way to uh, test accuracy, and it was it made sense. It's also got an auto clutch system. That's why you see the water here. I was going to use uh, conveyor belts, but then I remembered, uh, yeah, water's easier. You can just right click and it flows, and then it, it goes in here, it collects all, everything, collects missiles, ammunition shells, ammunition shells just go in the lava, I don't really care for them. But it goes down here, all missiles are going to be pulled down these belts, and there's a rejector right here, if I can get down in here, that shoots anything that is not one of these four missiles into the lava. Which I don't think anybody's actually seen the rejector. It's part of the assembly line, and most people don't look at it. I'm actually kind of proud of it because I made a really good model, and then on top of that, I actually made a decent texture for once. Only other decent texture I've actually made in a while was the bullet shells for the ICBM sentries, the actual shells that drop these items right here. I took a picture from, I can't remember where I got it from, I cropped it down, resized it, changed it, edited it, blurred it a little bit, made it, made it work. Yeah, we're going to go uh, test this, and even though I, I actually made some videos before this, I ended up scrapping them all, but uh, I was continuously testing this, and I was continually having problems with the sentry guns blowing up the missile launching on here, so that's why we got this little ramp. Yeah, that's where I was telling in the last video, it was a warning, these sentry guns will shoot missiles out of what they're sitting in. They will shoot missiles out of the cruise launchers, they will shoot them out of the launch... Anything that can launch a missile. Because the missile actually, when it sits in the launcher, is actually alive. It actually exists. It's not part of the model, it just sits there. It's uh, You can actually, if you could try, you could probably push it out. I don't need, I haven't even spent enough time doing that. I don't know if it's actually got a collision ignoring, or it's probably being reset way too fast. But yeah, um, some, some of the early videos I did that you'll probably never see. I was actually toying with uh, the accuracy. These are now down to 10% miss rate. So out of, say, 100 rounds, they'll miss 10. So you got, you automatically get 90% of the rounds are going to hit this, this missile. The problem I was realizing we're actually having was not the accuracy, but rather the tracking rate of these sentries. These missiles move at a really high rate. So by the time they enter the detection range of the sentry gun, they're already out of the detection range of the sentry gun. The detection range is only 60 blocks in every direction. And if it even detects it in time, it's also going to have to worry about actually tracking it. Because these sentry guns actually have to line up with the target within like 3 to 5% uh, inaccuracy to actually fire rounds. So if they're not actually lined up, they will not shoot, which can lead to a problem. I might actually change this later. I might actually have them shoot dud shells because... After all, how is it going to really tell if it's actually lined up 100%? And then it'll be differently. But I'll probably end up doing that when I take the uh, shells from being currently code damaged to actually creating an entity, launching the entity, and having the entity hit the target. From missiles, it's probably going to always remain code damaged, though. I mean, after all, I don't really care to do prediction pass and anything like that. It just takes up RAM, and you as the player are never going to see it. But anyways, we got the automated missile launcher here. It, it pretty, it's a pretty simple design. I, I've got a similar design that launches four missiles at a time to beat the living snot out of somebody's force field. I can actually poke holes through a force field if I hit it enough. But yeah, we get some random missiles in here. Um, to count them exactly, there's 20 in here. And it, every time this clock activates, it's going to fire the missile first, then dispense a missile out of here, which is going to re right in here, it's going to repeat. And to point out, before somebody actually thinks to build this, this does have an infinite battery in it. If you do not put something that's got a really fast recharge rate in this slot, this will not recharge fast enough to keep items from being thrown out of this into this. You can probably get away with, uh, oh, what's the name of it? 
Oh, the hopper. You can probably use a hopper in place, which I actually might try that later. But then again, the, these missiles keep blowing up in here, and somehow the manipulators are strong enough to survive. I can't remember ever coding them that way, but they're almost as hard as the concrete next to them. But yeah, let's uh, flip this on, and we're going to test it, the accuracy, and I'm going to show it off. And I'm thinking of doing a video later showing a battlefield to test these fully, of having a dozen AA guns, sentry guns, and just start to shoot missiles at them until I blow the place up. That'd be a great release video for this or something. And if you feel like it, you can probably email the ideals. I don't. I probably need some extra moss to go with it, like uh, NPCs that actually will try to attack it instead of me trying to infinite spawn them around there with code and not do anything. But yeah, you saw that. Uh, it shot down, I think, half of them. We'll see. It's, it's going to auto-collect these missiles. Um, I'm going to get them back up here and count them. I wasn't actually paying attention to explosion as I was thinking of how to do the, my next video. We yeah, if I did this right, oh wait, I didn't do this right, um, this is why I was using the missile module earlier, because the missile module, when it impacts, it's just going to drop, it's going to get collected, uh, chemical missiles and stuff are not, they're going to explode on impact, that's what makes missile modules great, they're great for accuracy testing, so if you ever wanted to like hit your, your enemy's base, but you didn't want to do it right away, so you just want to calibrate all of your missiles, use missile launchers, they're great. You can go pick them up and uh, keep making sure all your missile launchers are accurate and tuned in. That way, when you hit your enemy's base, you can hit it with like a two dozen, three dozen missiles, like my buddy did to my fort. I mean, he was pretty smart. He took my ideals and took them to the extreme. He launched to the sound of... I can't remember. The, it's It's... I think it was Star Single Banner is what he used, he, to, but he launched missiles to the sound of that, and they hit my base. So each wave, it was like all these missiles hit, and it was actually pretty amazing. He eventually ended it off with an EMP missile, which crashed the server, due to the fact that at that time there was an outdated API or something, and it broke. And but the bummy was cool. He, I, I think, only killed like half of his missiles. I mean, EM, EMP towers are great and everything. They recharge really fast if you use the uh, transformers, but they're not. Good enough to actually stop things. I also tried to use homing missiles and stuff like that, and anti-ballistic, and this is where the AA gun came into thought, because AA guns are designed to shoot flying targets, especially planes, which is probably going to have to fix this. Yeah, which also, another thing I note, if you does, uh, build AA guns, I actually suggest you don't put them on top of your base, because that's where the missile is going to be coming in at. You want to put them in at such a placement that they can shoot the missile as it comes towards your base and over your base. That Because the farther distance a sentry is away from something, the less it has to angle, which means it can, it can track the target faster, which means it will spit more rounds at the target. If it's closer, so if it's like right here, this is where you can actually get away with some sentry guys, you can actually rotate them around them fast enough, and you can get them to waste their ammo. Well, that's the idea at least. Or you can kill them. I think you can... I think you can still mine these. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if they've, if Calculate changed them. Why I wasn't paying attention. But normally you're supposed to use a command to, called destroy in these, to get them to blow up, and that will drop. If you type in the command, it actually just drops as an item, which is nice. I wish it only did it to the turret though, because I usually leave the platforms where they're at. They're cheap enough. I don't really have to worry about them. Yeah, this pretty, pretty good, pretty interesting setup here. Uh, I might upload this map later, just because I need to make backups of it. I've lost, I don't know how many maps to MCP lately. But yeah, that's, that's it. Crappy, it's still got some accuracy problems. I think I might drop it down to like half a percent. Oh, I'll, I'll work on this later.